Hi, welcome to Alice Davis Golf. I want to talk to you today a little bit about TrackMan data and understanding uh, some of the numbers. And one of the things I wanted to show with this particular case in point, which is my data, um, is really the, the rel relevance of sort of contact and how that affects spin on the ball. So if we have a quick look at my data, we'll notice that my club path here in this, this example as an average is 0 0.7 degrees, which is pretty damn straight. The face angle is 0 0.6, again, excellent and the face to path is zero. So effectively these shots should have very little side spin. If we look at this sort of down the line trajectory of these shots here, you'll see that there's quite a few of them are drawing and moving right to left. And then again, if we look at the spin axis number here, we'll see it's a minus 6.6. .6. So the only way that can be created is through contact based on the average numbers we have here. So just to explain that, if the ball is hit ever so slightly in the toe of the club face, it will cause gear effect which basically causes the ball to spin right to left. How it all works is the club face gets deflected into an open position and then the golf ball spins and reacts to it and creates a right to left curvature. So essentially the more out the toe I would hit the ball the more the spin axis would increase into a minus number and create a draw spin. So in this particular example these balls should have very little or no side spin at all um, on an average scale anyway and if we look at it, the average is minus 6.6 .6 on the spin axis, which is quite a bit of draw spin or right to left spin. The ball's finishing left to target in most of the shots, which would be a hook um, or a pull hook in some of the cases. It is all caused through that kind of contact. Uh, again, the rest of the data is pretty good. Even the swing plane is pretty much round about where I'd wanted to see it. See it. So hopefully that helps to kind of highlight how you can get some curvature with a pretty neutral path and club face just through contact. Contact tends to be the king of all things. If the contact is out, all the other sort of impact factors and ball flight laws become sort of null and void. So contact is king. So it's always worth spraying your club with some spray. Um, some athletes' foot spray works quite well, shows where the contact point is, or if not, use the sticky labels. The sticky labels, however, will affect the ball speed and how fast the ball comes off the club. So good luck with this.